Hello lovely people, uh, I'm Michał Kali Griggs for those who don't know me yet. Uh, at this video I would like to share with you the requirements uh, from uh, becoming a Tantric uh, teacher. Um, Tantra movement school is expanding, uh, we getting more people teaching into it, more people want to become teachers, so uh, I would like to share uh, what uh, we require from the people uh, that they can become a Tantric teacher. What also uh, shows a lot about uh, the intention of the school uh, itself. So, um, there are three main requirements uh, I will share in this video and in the next video I will share also the um, 12 beautiful qualities of a nice uh, Tantric teacher, in my opinion. So, uh, the three requirements uh, are um, that um, first, you have to be free from addiction from sex. This is uh, mainly f f for the men. So, uh, you have to succeed with uh, mastering of this uh, basic uh, of Tantra, that you bring the energy up and you don't lose it. Um, yes till you lose it, uh, then you are still uh, stay in addiction from ejaculation, from the peak orgasm, from clitoral orgasm as well. And um, this uh, um, make you um, still uh, in the desires. So you still desire so from this, uh, a lot of things may happen. You desire uh, um, to make love uh, with the woman who you just supposed to give the massage. Uh, you desire to uh, um, make love with uh, every uh, student uh, who fe you feel attracted, and so this it's, uh, it should not happen. We are here to share love, to not to traumatize people, but to heal people, to liberate people. So this is very important. I will go into the details uh, further. Uh, second um, requirement is uh, you have to um, deblock especially your sexual chakras. And this requirement is mainly for the woman. Um, you have to be free from um, not loving yourself, from uh, um, feeling um, barriers uh, towards your sexuality, towards uh, your body, how it looks like. You have to love your body. Um, you have to also, yes, uh, be free about the sexuality, be, uh, be not ashamed, not feeling guilty when you speak about it, uh, but just be natural about, neutral uh, about it. So, so yes, um, this is uh, mainly a requirement for the woman, but it also for the men as well. And the third uh, requirement, it's uh, we like that the unconditional love is uh, our destiny. Like the, it, we grow into this as we are teachers, as we are students, and that's what we share. So, so it's, uh, uh, we are not uh, there to uh, fulfill our selfish desires uh, or any, you know, we want to make a lot of money or become a very famous person and so. We are there to share love unconditionally and this are, is the main of our purpose. So these are the three requirements. Yes, uh, you know, uh, I will go now into the details. So first requirement, to be free from the sexual addiction. Especially the man when he's uh, um, still in the um, sexual addiction, still didn't uh, free your, uh, himself from the um, ejaculation uh, desire. Uh, he um, 
would uh, be driven by desires for sex. So this is uh, not uh, what um, we um, want when, from the teachers, of course, because uh, uh, they should be example of uh, their integrity, and of their um, uh, freedom, uh, of their um, unconditional uh, love uh, and uh, not... Uh, um, Yes, we teach that uh, our students and we want that uh, uh, also the teachers are the example of uh, this what they teach. Uh, this is one of the uh, basic of Tantra, to free yourself from the um, sexual addictions, from the uh, addiction from the peak orgasm. So this uh, is uh, um, what the teachers should uh, also represent, uh, walk the talk, uh, how we say. So, um, yes, if the uh, teacher is uh, still uh, addicted from sex, that's what sometimes happened uh, and this is what we really do not like. This is not Tantra. Uh, we, uh, like real Tantrics, want to distinguish uh, ourselves from the people who make abuses, who uh, abuse the Tantra. Tantra is a very powerful tool uh, and if you play it in the wrong way, it will hit you. So, so when you are, you are still uh, addicted from sex, please master it before you start to teach uh, with this uh, uh, um, wrong uh, desires around. So th this is very important. We um, don't want uh, that uh, another scandal will came out and will uh, bring the reputation of Tantra uh, much low. Uh, tantra is a very beautiful thing and uh, this kind of situations uh, may block a lot of people, uh, can make a lot of people being afraid that they risk to be traumatized instead to be healed. So this is very, very important. Um, to set up your strong intention to free yourself from uh, sexual addiction. The second uh, um, requirement is uh, to uh, unblock your uh, sexual chakras especially. So, so, so um, this happens mainly to the women that they had some uh, situations what uh, made their sexuality blocked uh, and um, yes tantra helps a lot uh, with this uh, with healing with liberating it uh, so basically mm, the path of tantra is never ending process of healing those wounds uh, as you are a man as a, you are a woman um, but Yes, uh, from our teachers uh, we require that at least the most uh, heavy ones are healed already. Because if you still have uh, prejudices towards sexuality, towards uh, the man uh, or woman, towards uh, some ways of um, sexual um, making love, then um, you may project this to your students, to the people who you would like to help. So, so, so it's very important to uh, heal those wounds, these biggest wounds, uh, what uh, may affect your teachings. So, so, so this is very important. To not to project uh, the wounds, what you have still uh, on the students. Uh, this is um, important and um, yes also when you are free uh, from these wounds if you liber uh, heal those wounds that also you um, your teachings everything what you do in your life will become much more efficient because those wounds are holding you back also in your love making in your uh, tantric practice uh, so so yes that's the requirement what we ask uh, also. 
The third requirement is uh, sharing the unconditional love. Uh, this is the purpose of Tantra. It's, uh, um, we are not to um, increase our ego by become famous or by become a uh, um, teacher or um, yes, uh, having some students who ask you questions. We are here to uh, share love. Uh, so so um, Tantra is about uh, healing your uh, ego, to make your ego a healthy ego, that you can do everything out of unconditional love, not out of uh, that you will get some money or you maybe uh, you uh, will get popular along the woman or uh, things like this. Uh, you get famous and everybody would uh, uh, recognize you and so no tantra is uh, not about that uh, if it happened you deal with this in the humble way but um, yes um, the main purpose is unconditional love and we guide into that uh, um, path and this also um, make that the things flow that the things don't go into the wrong directions that uh, um, yes, uh, there, are, there are no guru structures uh, that, yes, you are more important than the others. We are all equal. We uh, all are on the path of uh, our liberation and this Tantra is about that. It's not about... Uh, Yes, um, and uh, also like Tantra is a very uh, powerful tool, uh, you have to b be very careful, uh, you work with the very high energies. If you don't put the uh, unconditional love as an intention uh, to grow, then uh, um, if um, you do things uh, what are against this uh, intention, uh, what are, uh, I don't know, like um, Yes, um, you do something um, opposite, then you can get burned. You play with fire, you gonna get burned, and severely. You can uh, not only hurt yourself, but also other people around. And so, please always put the unconditional love as an intention there. So that's the about the requirement. Thank you very much.